Hey everyone, Andang here for more of Transport Fever. When we last left off, we were just building this traffic circle as you can see here in the center. I do have the game paused right now. And that's because we still have a few things to do before we get going here. So first, let's go ahead and thank our most recent subscriber. Eridan, thank you so much for the sub, really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoy the content here on this channel, feel free to subscribe as well and you'll get notified when I go live and things like that. And be sure to hit the bell not bell icon to get notified if you really do want like the top in notifications and stuff like that. And so yeah, that should be good. Also, a big thanks to K for supporting the channel not only once, but twice now with Super Chat in a row. So a big thanks, K, for helping support the channel that way. Okay. So here we do have Birmingham. And this traffic circle really did save our entire game. It really, really did. And yeah, I do have a cough drop in, cough drop in my mouth right now. Um, just because I ran out of time to, to finish it off, I guess, before the stream started. I just have not been feeling the best today. So that's going on. Uh, let me rearrange one window here real quick. There we go. Alright. Awesome. Hear the flames there in the background. They are so loud. So loud. And I just love how we have all these double tracks now going through. Lots of good changes have been made. And let me see, what, how big is Birmingham again? Just so we can know for the end of, end of stream how much it's grown. See if we can click on. There we go. 3,000 people right now in Birmingham. That is pretty amazing. Brandeth, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. I'm sick. I have the transport fever. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what I have too. But um, yeah. You can probably tell my voice is like lower pitched. What's crazy is I just recorded like two videos yesterday and. Perfectly fine, not an issue, and then today I woke up and just, uh, it, it hit me. It hit me. So, hopefully this will pass at some point in the near future. Just an awesome seeing all those people there. Okay, welcome to the chat, nice to have you here. Okay, so we should probably start doing something. So let's check in on our oil real quick, see how that's going. Let's see, 151, how much do these hold? 306, so yeah, that's fine. Okay. And yeah, looking good there too. All right, what does Birmingham still need? There's still like the plastic thing or whatever. Let's see, we're gonna try to set that up today. It's gonna be a lot of work. <clears throat> okay, we still need to set up goods. So that's gonna be a while. Uh, is this game free? I'm a very cheap gamer. Uh, it's not free. It uh, was on sale recently for like 20 bucks, I think. Somewhere around there. So it was on a, at a pretty good price on the summer sale. If you are interested in getting it on sale, I'd probably wait till the fall festival. Fall sale, not fall festival. I'm in Lotro mode, apparently. RS Video, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. They say, lol, well then, that means I'm sick as well. <laughs> oh, man. We all got that transport fever. That's hilarious. Hopefully we don't all die die of fever. So that's the only thing I wish you could do, is set like a bus lane and then like a freight lane. That'd be cool. Also do what like City Skylines does, where the bus stop is actually like in the curb. Because a lot of like busy streets, they'll have the bus pull over onto like the side of the road and pick people up. Which is safer for people, and also saves time on the roadway.
$34.99 on Steam. Yeah, it's no longer on sale. Sadly. Alright, so now what we have going on here is goods from Birmingham are being taken on these uh, freight trains out to here. And then the other train takes it on to Clearwater. And Clearwater has been growing like crazy. There's tons and tons of jobs in Clearwater. It is very much so a job city. For some reason. I, I guess that's just the way the game wanted to do it. But it's just cool that stuff just naturally grows like that. Okay. Once we get to 1980, I think we can upgrade to an even bigger airport. So that'll be a project coming up. Alright, we got all our check-ins good, I think. Super Hot is 50% off. That would be cool if you played it. Uh, if I had a headset, I would be playing the heck out of that thing. But I don't have a VR headset. But yeah, that game looks awesome. Um, I don't think I'd want to play it without VR, though. Very much a VR game. Okay, so we still have giant build-ups of goods everywhere. But, you know, sometimes that's okay. I feel like we could add one more truck in, maybe. Well, they're waiting there already. Never mind. Not just a VR game. Okay. I think I would still want to experience the VR mode, though. All right. There are a lot of bricks here. 117, 100, or yeah, 171 on line 17. Oh well, it'll pick it all up. Never mind. Just want to make sure that there's nothing that needs our attention before we start doing a crazy giant project. We should really connect either El Paso or Detroit up to like a line somewhere. Hmm. What we could do is put another passenger station in here, which I don't know how I feel about. This would be like our super high-end, high-speed rail. It would go all the way over to El Paso. I don't know if I want to do that. We'll wait till after we upgrade the airport so we get an idea of how much space that takes. But I don't even know. It would have to go way up here. And then it would have to bridge over there. Or like that probably would be the best route. So yeah, it's doable. We could even go off this route, and this one is long enough. Because it curves on up here. Now, we could go from Yonkers to El Paso, which would make the most sense. Honestly. But I don't know, I kind of like the direct route, about, route, route approach. Okay, ask your parents for a VR setup for your birthday. If you didn't notice my profile, I'm Photosynthesis. Cool. I've been thinking about getting into VR. Yeah, I should get a VR headset. Uh, I think it would be fun to stream in VR. I think that would be really cool. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the next generation, or maybe even the generation after that, uh, till they get it just right. Like, I have a PC that's good enough to do VR, but I don't know if I want to jump 
on the bandwagon yet. I want them to make it be less expensive or lighter weight. I'm assuming. I, I haven't looked into it enough to be to be honest. Okay. Let's figure this out. So, for goods, what do we need? What do we need for goods? You need either planks and steel or plastic and planks. What do you need for plastic? I'm guessing just oil. Maybe something else. Where, where is the right button? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so for plastic, you just need oil. But you have to, so you'd have to take the oil to a refinery and then take it from a refinery to a plastic place and then take the plastics to this place. But that's actually easier. That's actually easier than going the other route because the other route requires you to do steel, which in my opinion is even harder. You should play that Rick and Morty game though. Okay. And then here's the uh, food route. 153 waiting. Where's the train? Where is the train? Here we go. Okay, yeah, so it's not a problem either. Alright, good to know. I like how this train's just taking, like, cows. Like, there's no way you'd ever get that many cows from a farm like that, but... Sure, sure. I mean, maybe you would, but... No, it's... Not something that's happening. All right, let's figure this out. So, if we actually wanted to do this, we first need the oil, which would be here. And then we can take the oil to a refinery here. Or we could even go from oil to there. Then from there, you would take it down to here. And then from here, it would then be able to go to there. And then from there, it would be able to go into Birmingham. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Alexa, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. That is pretty good. Uh, so... We would then also need a planks plan. Which obviously there's all the lumber stuff, but where is an actual... <gasps> this is going to work. This is going to work. And then we'll get all of everything going to Birmingham. It would be much easier just, just to take it to Clearwater. But no, we want all the goods in Birmingham. So we're gonna do it. <clears throat> okay. And uh, I am trying out uh, a different type of streaming thing, because in the past, yeah, I am uh, sick, uh, Alexa. That's, that's what's going on. Um, I am trying out a little bit of a different streaming setup where it's not doing a second uh, encoding pass. But I'm able to stream at a higher bitrate, so hopefully that... Hopefully that's not an issue later on. But... So far it seems to be working well. Knock on wood. Alright. Let's see here. Get that. Longest version. High speed rail. 
at least two lines. I think we'd actually want three. Of how many places we're coming from. Alright, so it can place it there. That actually works real well. But I think we want it more like that. Okay, let's now figure out how this road is supposed to work. There we go. So now this is connected to that. Awesome. need a whole new station coming into this place again yet another station uh, thank you very much yeah I'm, I'm working on it sadly this seems to be the start and not the end because um, I was fine yesterday so we'll see what happens but yeah my voice whenever I get sick usually what happens is my voice gets much lower which I don't know if you can tell but it's what's happening right now yeah, I have a sore throat and some other stuff, but not looking for sympathy. Just trying to get through this. <clears throat> and, you know, make it fun and interesting for everyone and keep this weekly stream going. So, let's see, what industry, like, is it, it's a shopping facility item. So if we look here, hey, look at that, all shopping right there. That's perfect. Or, we could go on either side of this since it's not used that much. Because it's such a long distance. Like it's coming from all the way over there. Which actually we might need another train soon. Anyway, um... Yeah, that should work. Interesting, interesting. There, I wish there was a way to upgrade this. To three. I think it's just... Is it just that road? There we go, we got that third connection there. <clears throat> okay, got our third connection. And 
That is way over. Look at all that space there. That hopefully will not be an issue with the tunnel. Let's go ahead and figure this out. Were you fired? What What do you mean? This is just my day off, man. Okay, so we have this thing here. Let's go ahead and try to connect these two. Because this is the hardest, going to be the hardest thing. So I say we just have it going under that bridge. Which means it needs to go down. Awesome. It's going to make me replace. <sighs> okay, pause time. Leave that little section for now. Actually, we're going to go over this road and the uh, next road following it. So, <coughs> make our way on over. Like that, I guess. Mm, I kind of feel like we need to curve that way just a little bit. That works. That's actually... Depends on what you're looking for. I think that's best. Okay. Now we do have a crossing there, but that's just going to the back end of that station. So I think it's fine for now, at least. 
If we ever need to upgrade it, it's cool. I was just worried because you look really sad and tired. No, I'm fine. Uh, it's just... I'm sick. <laughs> And now that works. Hopefully the other side will work. Come on. There we go. Now there's just this random electricity on the top of that, but that's that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's just they wanted to electrify that little part. All right, so now we got our main route, or route, depending on how you want to say it. Coming on out of Birmingham. Yeah, that works. That works well, I think. Interesting, so now it's building just along the circle they're not rebuilding that side road hmm. all right well anyway we have way too many bridges here I feel like so if we go to routes now yeah it still is functioning good all right now we get to figure out the next mess So I say we do oil as our next endeavor. So we have a few options here. I think those are the only two refineries. Is there a refinery down here somewhere? No. No, so yeah, we have to go to that refinery and then come down to here and then go up to there. So we might as well build this as the next piece. Cool. Okay. So we're on freight, full length. Oh, and we only want uh, two. There we go. Now we should be able to build a tunnel, hopefully not colliding with that. That would come out right there. See, so yeah, that tunnel goes under that other one, I think. Though it's very hard to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's way under, because this is going up. And then there's... How many tunnels do we need? Alright, well... Interesting. This is just bridges and tunnels all throughout here. Well... Yeah, there's where the collision is. Or, I guess there's where the collision is. Okay, that... Should work. That's cool. Alright, so that was easy enough. Now the other line, and man, it is going to be so hard to remember <laughs> to put a train on everything. We're going to have so many lines here just for this one silly little route. Oh man. Alright, well, let's see. So we're going to go all the way up there. back 
to 38. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's figure this out again. Um, how many are waiting here? 322. All right, it is time for another train. It is time for another train. All right, let's see what we got already. So it's basically that with a bajillion of these. this 48 there we go got another one this should be a full train here man it takes forever to load Almost a full train. It'll be a full train soon, is the point of the, the story here. Because, I mean, it has to go all the way back on into Birmingham. It's a long way. So having another train on that will be good. Alright. <clears throat> now that we figured that out... Let's see here. Where were we? Here. Okay, so from here we need to go up to there. Which we could go either under or over San Diego. I'm gonna say under. Okay. What happens if we First of all, pause the game so it doesn't freak out too much. Just literally attach it. Man, it is lagging so much with that. Yeah, just build a bridge over the city. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's that's a project. I think I have to do this now. That's just too funny to me. All right, let's figure out There's a bridge pillar collision, so it can't do that, it seems. This one works. Can we keep going down? No, that's as far down as it goes. Okay, it's literally tunneling under the city, which is what we wanted to do. Good. Good. Where does it come out? There. Yeah, that should work. Let's make sure we're on the right side of the road. No, we're not, because we want to take from there, I'm guessing. Or we could go to there. That would be easiest. All right, let's see what happens when we move it over one. Nothing good. Good. All right, we are now going under San Diego. I think that'll work. There we go. Okay, now all we have to do is just connect this oil up and then we're good with this part of the route. This this is insanity. This is this is literal insanity to try to get this to work but it'll be worth it once we do 
I think. I really hope that doesn't conflict with the airport. I didn't even think about that. We are so close to upgrading it. Alright, still have a little bit more time because I'm pretty sure it's 1980 when that happens. Okay, well, let's keep the insanity going and finish this out. Hmm, that's annoying how that's placed. Can we get rid of that road? Or move that road up? If we could do that, that would solve a lot of problems. It doesn't even care about that road. Well then we'll get rid of it. Well, I guess that got rid of that road. I don't know why they let us do that, but sure. I'm not going to complain. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Yeah, because that always works so well. Yeah, so that's that's out of the question. Okay. What if we do something like that? I think we have to start from over here. For this to properly work. Or. Hold on. What if we do this instead? Do that. Get rid of that altogether. Christian, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Okay, so in theory, this should work better. In theory. All right. it go faster I mean that works there we go Watching till DRZ is red for SO... I don't know what that means. That's a lot of abbreviations. That is a lot of abbreviations. Okay, we got that done. Now, in this crazy, crazy thing we're doing, we now just need to figure out how to get the wood over there. So there's So just to remind ourselves we're trying to go there. So I think we want to use that one. Which means I guess we'd want to use that one. I don't know, is there a Another wood thing down here? No. Over here? No. <laughs> okay, so I guess the only option then, the only real option, 
is to take it out of there and go over that tunnel. And that should be good. Actually, that's... I didn't realize that was a tunnel there, so that actually works fairly well, I guess. What a crazy angle. So I guess we want it like that. So I guess we'll put it there. And hopefully be able to connect a road on it. Cool. Okay. So now... That actually might be... We'll delete that. We'll, we'll get rid of the part of their town that's in the way. We got seven billion. We can do that. All right. Oh, Sea of Thieves. Okay, cool. Very cool. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so where were we? We're trying to go all the way over there. We're coming from over there, so I guess we can just do it like that. That town is so in the way. All right, let's figure this out. I'm trying to just do one-line builds. Three buildings will be removed. We're going through the center of town, which I'm not a fan of, per se. Hmm. Alright, what happens if we go down? Collision. Up. Collision. What if we go way down? That's it. That's it right there. Now, are we going into the right spot here? I guess it doesn't matter what we go into there. But it's on the outside, so that makes sense. All right, cool. Now we just have the final connection to make. And then we can start placing trains and start building off this insanity. So, let's do that. The most ridiculous thing I've ever done in this game, probably. Eh, maybe not most ridiculous, but it's up there. This, is this isn't really insane, it's just complicated. Needlessly complicated. So now we want this middle line. to destroy all the farms. But in all seriousness, to go right there. Let's pause time so it doesn't keep freaking out like that. I really hope we're not intersecting with any tunnels at any point here. I don't think we are. Alright, um... That works. That works. Okay, now we get to build all this fun stuff. Uh, so I don't think we need a double line there. At least not yet. But places we probably do need double line are here. And here. Really here. 
Yeah, that, that absolutely, there's no way you're not gonna need a double line there. Okay. <clears throat> go back because it's having issues so we're building along there just fine it's still building just fine still building just fine expensive. Not that it's really that big of a deal, I guess. Okay, so now pull out of there. Got it. I don't, know, I don't know why I felt so accomplished about that, but there we go. All right. Um, this is such a mess. Such a mess. Oh, my goodness. There's so many. So, we're, this new line is literally crossing over itself. Like, it, that. these are both two new lines that we built. That's how needlessly complicated this is. All right. Well, hmm. So I don't think we need to double that up yet. Yet. This needs to be doubled up though. That doesn't. Uh, yeah. So I think just those two are all that we need to double up for now. So before we forget, let's put the markers on here, the signals. And so it starts there. And we'll put another one there. And that's a long way, so let's put one here. And then again, right by the cow farm. Oh, it's so hard to see where we're putting it. Not in the right spot is the answer. Still not the right spot. Man, that is way far down. Why won't you go where I want you to go? All right, like that, but then I can't get the other one. It's close enough. All right. So then, oh man, that's like major vertigo. All right, then there, there we go. That's now been doubled up. 
All right, and the other one we wanted to do was this one. So let's get that done, and then we're done. Well, we have to still build a million trains, but after that we're done with uh, this part of it. Okay. A yacht. Oh, hey, it's uh, 1980. Let's see. We can't upgrade this thing. Oh my gosh. Right, I think we just have to delete this road. There we go. Got the upgraded airport. And let's see, I guess small street. No, medium street. There we go. Now we have a takeoff strip and a landing strip. That's going to speed up things so much because they no longer have to wait for planes to land before they can take off. It's going to really help make all this be very economical. I'm excited. Can probably finally get another plane for. Well, it's not even full, so never mind. We're not getting another plane for line 45. To get that. Yeah, this is this is working well. <coughs> so eventually there should be a landing at some point. Apparently not. Apparently just planes aren't going to land anymore. Okay. There we go. That's cool. This thing is so big. Look at the size of this versus the size of the city. It's more than a third of Birmingham. I mean, if you include it as part of Birmingham, it's like a fourth, but this alone is like a third the size if this wasn't here. It's ridiculous how big that is. And Birmingham continues to grow. All right. Can you kind of give the basic description and your thoughts? I uh, don't really have the funds. But my B day is next month and always looking to add things to my wish list. Little well, thanks. So I'm guessing you're talking about what this game is. Uh, so basically, this is uh, Transport Fever. It's uh, a modern take on Transport Tycoon. And the sequel to Train Fever. And basically you're just transporting goods and moving around people. It's a tycoon game, basically. So it's like Transport Tycoon. And you're just transporting people and goods and trying to grow cities. And the cities expand without you doing anything. So you could literally just not even touch anything, like uh, this city over here. And it still expands and there's still cars going through it and there's still things happening. Um, before cars though, you kind of have to be the one to instigate what's going on. But obviously, if you do do things within the city, they grow much, much faster, and a lot more things happen, and you create just these really cool ecosystems of growing things. And there's really cool things where people will live in one city, and then work in another. Which is really cool. So, like, this over here is like a job city. So there's a lot more uh, industry and things like that going on inside it. 
Whereas Birmingham is much more of a commercial slash residential city. But it still has the industry. But it's mostly, as you can see, all the real big buildings. All commercial and everything. And if you're ever curious, you can load it up. So there's the industry. Green is residential. And blue is commercial. So it's all there. And yeah, it's just a, a nice, cool game. And yeah, it's a lot like uh, SimCity or something like that. Um, except you, instead of being the controller of the city, you're the controller of all the industry uh, transportations within the city. So you're, you're basically just control of all the uh, transportation instead of being in control of the city. Um, you can build roads, though, inside the city. Like, I built this uh, center circle here myself and just, you know, grew it out that way. And look, there's now no planes waiting here. Uh, someone asked if that was the uh, 737. Yes, that was the Boeing 737 that you saw earlier. That plane has seen better days, my goodness. Okay. I wish you could set a thing to where people have to wait on vehicles instead of vehicles waiting on people. That would be nice. I wonder if there's a mod that does that. Because that would be a nice, nice feature. Or maybe, like, not have them wait till there's more than just one person going through there, you know? Oh, there's gotta be a way to optimize it. But one thing that I really like about this game is just the sheer quantity of people that you can transport. Like, right now at this station, and they literally are all waiting, like, they're literally all displayed. There's 100, uh, 200, 300, 400, oh, you know, over 500 people just at this one station waiting on trains. On each of these trains, there's like 300 some odd people, 200 on that one. And so it's just a ridiculous scale. And that's one of the best parts of this game, in my opinion, is just seeing the scale of things. And yeah, it is $34.99. Okay, we were about to uh, expand... Oh my gosh, look at all those cows. 600... 40 cows, just waiting there. Well, we definitely need another cow train. I'm convinced. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. 49, I'm assuming. Yeah. Cool. I mean, even simple things, down to the fact that the lights actually change. Little details like that make a big difference. So is there only one... 
I guess there was only one train going there. Well, now there's two. Okay, so we were doubling up one of these lines somewhere. Somewhere. Here we go. So we're doubling up this line. Bob, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. I guess we have to do it inside the tunnel. I always forget that part. Because this game doesn't like you starting a tunnel from the outside for some reason. There's many more things that let you do than uh, train fever. That's just not one of them. Okay. So now we should. Be able to do this properly. Whoa, that is not. That's a waypoint, not a signal. There we go. Got that signal there. And I guess the next one will be a little bit before the tunnel. And then we can put another one right underneath someone's house. Because that's just fun. So now they'll stop, like, right there. And then another one right before this whole exchange so that you know it's parked right on top of another tunnel because that makes engineering sense, clearly. And man, this is a long one. It's longer than it looked. Uh, yeah, there. And then again, wherever this starts. Right here. There we go. Now, everything should be fine once all these cows go away. It's kind of still a current problem. There's still a full train there. That's that's crazy. That is a lot of cows. But I guess Birmingham just needs a lot of food. Yeah, they're at 3.5 now. Still growing. You guys have a lot of fun on your uh, Sea of Thieves stream. And yeah, it goes from 1850 to 2010, I think. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. If somebody asks you about something, feel free to answer. I just, uh, my policy is just, you know, not coming into my stream just to share your other stream kind of a thing. But yeah, if someone asks, feel free to let them know. That's, that's just part of, you know, fostering a good, good community on here, I feel like. So definitely feel free to do that. Okay. So let's see where, where to start now even. 
I guess we'll start at the end. Because that's really all you're supposed to do is start the routes from behind so that it then somehow works ahead. I know that doesn't make any sense, but it actually is how the game works. Alright, let's see if we can't... We can't. We can't. Uh, what if we do that and then do that? <laughs> I don't like that at all. See if we can fix that. Uh, there we go. So there's just you know a random. Random sinkhole there, alright. So I guess we didn't delete all that. There we go, now it should... Yeah, there we go. That works. Okay, so that wasn't a valid method. Instead, I guess we'll do one of these. Hopefully not interrupt air travel, if we're in the right category. There we go. Cool. Cool, man. Okay. Now let's figure out what we want. I feel like it's still that one. I don't know. This one goes at a pretty good speed, though. But that running cost there is just so good. And when these can only go 160 anyway, it doesn't make any sense to do it any other way. Okay, so we're transporting goods on this, so we need those. So let's go ahead and do that. Although, with it only able to go 160, I think that's still better. It's crazy to me that it is, but... Just a really good train. Pretty soon we're not going to be able to do this anymore, but by then we'll have another train that works better, hopefully. So there we go, set line all, new line that goes from here to here. There we go, get rid of that. We just wanna know about the uh, new line here that we're Slowly building. Alright, so they're going to Birmingham first. Interesting. Bold choice. Bold choice. Not really at all, but... There we go. So they're just going to be driving around for a couple years before there's even anything to be transporting. Okay, so we got that. Let's now... I think the easiest thing... I 
still can't believe we have to go one, two, three, four, five, just to get it to where it needs to go. I mean, it looks like we're having another build up here. 400 waiting there. So yeah, we need another train. I think. Maybe. Where's the next train? Uh, yeah, I think we do need another food train. I don't know. Maybe not. For now, we're saying no. But someday. Someday we might say yes. Everyone, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much, everyone. Middle Earth Legacy, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Have you made a Tolkien train yet? Kind of. Um... <clears throat> We went over hills and under hill. I don't remember where that was, but there's an episode titled that that you can look up. That uh, talks about that. Wow, we have a lot of stuff here. I think line 24 needs another train. All right, we'll we'll do that later. We got it. We got. We have to focus on getting this line done. Um, we we can't. We can't ignore anything else. Or, uh, look at anything else. Okay. So we need to build another thing I'm gonna do here. Um, yeah, that doesn't work. No, right on top. I guess we're going to have to start from over here because it's not going to cooperate for some reason. There we go. Cool. Fine. Them again. Yeah, I was just checking to make sure that's the same speed, and it is. At 160. New line. From here. To here, I believe. There we go. Now we just have to set up that next one, which we'll want two trains on, so we might as well go ahead and buy two trains. Okay. Build that on out. And then build that. Whoops. Okay, apparently you can do that. This carries planks. Set line all, new line. Our 52nd line. Crazy that we've done that many. That goes... Where does it go? To there. And it seems to work. Cool. Okay, buy another train. Line all. 52. 
There we go. Now we'll have uh, two trains transporting all those planks. And we already have the chemical thing transporting. So now, we just have to set up all the plastic trains, which are not plastic trains, but the plastic that will... Alright, whatever. We're going to do all the uh, transporting of the plastic now. So... I guess this is as good a place as any to set it up. I hate it when it does that. And do that. There we go. Come back around and do that. And do that. So on this one, we're going to be transporting plastic to there. So we need to be able to haul plastic. <clears throat> Which is hauled apparently in boxcars. New line from there to there. Okay, now we have this line which apparently is a double line which goes on out to here so I guess the way we want to face is well, actually they travel on the right so I'm gonna do that We're getting close. Set line all, new line. From there, on over to where? To there? I guess to there. Yeah, to there. That's that's a long route. Alright, we need another train for sure. There we go. Now, all we have to do... ...is just set up this last little line. And then we have a functioning system. And man, it took forever to get this. To <laughs> Drop a like for all this work. My goodness. All right. Just build it right here on this curve, I guess. It's not right there. There we go. And by a bajillion of these, it goes from there to there. Okay, now we should have a fully functional system. How many trains do we have? We have one, two, three. Okay, four. I guess I counted it wrong there. Five, 
six. Seven, eight. Eight trains just to get that to work. <clears throat> Not something you can do at the start of the game, that's for sure. I would love to see a video where someone tries to do that at the start of the game. I don't think it's possible. Let's see if the promise of that has helped grow Birmingham at all. Uh, yeah, shopping facilities are starting to grow. Quite a bit there. Let's see if these are all still making money now that we got this all fixed up. Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, somehow we still have planes waiting here. It isn't, I haven't tried. Oh, man. Wow. That... I, I can't think of a way that that would be even possible. Alright, zero production, but they are using the line, so there's that. Already have some logging piling up there. Got some planks already for transport. That's good, planks will be there soon. What about on the plastic front? How is that going? Where's the oil? It's way over here. Yeah, they're, they're producing now as well. Does this train have anything on it? Yes, it does. About this train. No. Okay, so we're close. We just have to wait for them to cycle through a few more times. While we're waiting, let's fix this mess, because this is a mess. So line 23, I think, is fine. Line 24, my goodness, we need help on line 24. So, line 24. I believe... for the autosave is this one. Wow, it's not even it's not even upgraded. Well that's part of your problem. Yeah, we need to upgrade line twenty four. Sixty nine year old vehicle? Anthony, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. <clears throat> wow. Um, yeah, that's kind of our problem, I, I think. Okay. Um, let's see if we remember how to do this. Replace. I don't, I don't know why I said that. Um, replace. Go ahead and add that. And then upgrade to the new boxcars, which it hasn't even done. There we go. Replace now. Yeah. Well, there's your problem, I suppose. Yeah, it's not even the full length. Man, once that gets fixed, that'll help out quite a bit. I love the Amtrak. That's not Amtrak, but it's totally Amtrak. No worries, Anthony. So, I guess now is as good of time as any to bring this up. So, you guys might have seen that I posted on Twitter that there's big, big potential changes coming to the channel. It, well, I guess I said exciting things going on behind the scene is what I said. 
And that's true. There are exciting things going on behind the scene. Um, do you guys want to know about the exciting things tonight? Because I can't arrange for that if, if, you're, if you're interested. I mean, I, I could, could potentially. Now there's two houses across the, the way here. Or industry buildings, I guess, not houses. That would make more sense. All right. Let's see here. Come on. No, no, no. Yeah, three is seven now. Jobs are exploding right now. Still no goods. <laughs> Lay it on us. All right, guys. So, what's going on behind the scenes? Um, I actually have gone to the trouble of training and now actually using a freelance video editor to edit some of my videos for the channel. So what that means is I'll have more time to record once I'm not so sick and We'll be able to get more videos out to all of you. And hopefully be able to grow the channel that way. So I'm excited about that. Uh, basically, I'm taking what I'm spending on advertising right now and putting all of that towards paying for freelance video editing. So in theory, at the very least, We'll be able to get one more uh, Lotro video out every single week. Um, we'll see if it ends up uh, being even more than that. But uh, that's that's the goal. We'll see what happens, but that's the goal. Um, so I'm really excited about that, obviously. Uh, the new schedule, because I'm super busy next week, and also uh, sick a little bit this week, um, I won't be starting the new schedule till the week after next week, so like two weeks away. But in two weeks, you guys could start seeing three videos uh, of Lotro on the channel now every single week. Which is a huge difference from where we were uh, like two months ago where I was releasing maybe a video a week. If I was lucky. Um, so yeah, that's a huge change. And I'm really, really excited to be going forward with that. Uh, another thing that it will really help out with is getting news videos out faster uh, as well. So yeah, it's, it's really cool. Um, I will at some point down the road reveal who the freelance video editor is. Um, I'm not one to reveal it too quickly, just because I'm going to... First of all, if you guys can like clearly tell a difference between their editing and my editing, um, I don't want that to be the case. We're, we're, we're working on the back end to make sure that that, that doesn't happen too much, but uh, hopefully it'll be a seamless thing and they'll, they'll edit just like me, but we'll see how that works. But yeah, it essentially saves me about an hour a week that I can then be spending to edit another video instead of editing that video. And I'll try to make time to, you know, do a little bit of extra recording. So yeah, it's huge. Um, and should make a very, very big difference on the channel. So I'm excited about that. Uh, also, I'm not in, you know, get ready for move mode. I'm, I'm starting to really be where I'm at and not feel like everything in the world is changing. And so hopefully that means that... Uh, all these big changes will stop happening and I'll have more time because of that as well, where I won't be you know, doing all the other things. So, you know, hopefully we can get to three or more, current goal is three, but three or more Lotro videos every single week. And I'm super excited about it, hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, I'd already announced it to my patrons, and yeah. So anyway, 
if you guys end up either A, not noticing, or B, liking the way that the uh, editor does things that's different maybe from me, um, I will then release who it is. But uh, they're a longtime friend. I'll leave it at that. And uh, I'm very excited about it. All right. <clears throat> 53 people waiting on line 33. What is going on line 33? Oh, well, both planes are there. That's that's what's going on. All right. Fair enough game. Yeah, 45 just does not have too many. This is really great news. Yeah, like, I am so excited for it. Um, <clears throat> I am more excited, even though it doesn't sound like it because I'm sick, but I am more excited now about my channel than I've been in a very, very long time. Uh, probably since the lead up to Middle Earth lore, I have not been this excited about stuff for my channel, uh, which is great. You, you have to be excited. Uh, to be able to do, especially this long of a Mordor series um, and things like that, so it's definitely breathed new light. Um, <clears throat> I already have Saturday's video edited. Uh, the video editor is editing uh, Tuesday's video, and so basically, I'm already ready to start recording a week from now's video, uh, which is huge. Like I, I would not normally be able to do that. So. And that's exciting. And for patrons, this means that they're going to be getting episodes even more in advance now, which is exciting for them as well. I know it isn't me, but I'm sure whoever it is will do an awesome job. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I looked at the math and realized... Um, the amount I'm paying for ads versus the amount that I would be getting for um, an extra video a week is not that much different. So I might as well go ahead and get the extra video a week and then boost the YouTube algorithm that way, where YouTube will recommend my channel more because I'm releasing more content and, you know, things like that. And so it should have a lot of domino effects that I don't even know about. Um, just based on how the YouTube algorithm will be increasing things. So, there's a lot of potential there. At the very least, I can pretty much guarantee now, knock on wood, that I'll be able to release two videos every single week and not have to worry about going back to the one video. Um, at the very least, that's what's going to be happening. So, yeah, very exciting stuff. And, uh, yeah. Really looking forward to see what happens next. And, um, you know, for, like, way down in the future, like, way down in the future, if I ever wanted to add another video editor, which I can't afford to do now, but if, I, if that ever ended up being a thing, um, I would be able to do that much easier now because I have a whole guide, an eight-page guide on how to edit and edit videos. Um... So yeah, that, that should uh, help things out quite a bit. Alright, this video says, which editing software do you use? Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere. <clears throat> and the reason I picked Adobe Premiere in the first place is because it was most like Avid, which was what I was wanting to use when I was wanting to be uh, going into journalism and potentially being a video editor for a uh, news station. And so that's why I picked Adobe Premiere in the first place. Um, and yeah, it's it's worked out really well. I've been using it for two years now. At least a year. Probably two years. And uh, I really, really like it. It allows you to edit very, very fast. But editing still takes forever. But it allows you to edit much faster. But because keep in mind, like they're usually with a Lotro episode, there's like 40 minutes of raw footage, 
30 to 40 minutes of raw footage for an average low trap episode that then gets condensed down to 20 minutes. So, you know, you have to watch through most of that footage. You know, you're skipping through whenever there's no talking or something like that. But you have to watch through a large part of it and pause and do edits along the way. So it, it takes about an hour or more to edit a video for this channel, a typical Lotro Mordor video. Yeah, pretty much every news station uses Avid. Um, it's pretty standard. They got a corner on that market, um, mostly because they were kind of the first to market with that type of a video editor. And they also marketed more towards that. Okay, so Birmingham's starting to even out a little bit. It's still growing. Uh, we still have zero goods. So we need to look into what's going on with our goods. Zero production. Like, am I crazy, or shouldn't that be... Okay, it's got potential of three right now. Why is that so low? This must be, like, really expensive. Okay, so it goes from there to there. And then it goes to there. So there we go, we got plastic waiting. So then that plastic will take it and turn to goods. Cool, so it's just, it's still going through the cycle. It's that long of a cycle. That's crazy. Back in college they had Media 100. No idea if they're still in business. I don't know either, man. I've not heard of them. What is going on in Yonkers? There are a lot of people there. Line 18. Line 18 is what's going on. Which I think is the line, yeah, that's the line that goes to Birmingham. I guess it's time to upgrade this thing. Let's upgrade it to the cool new Amtrak one. Uh, cancel. Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We still have to upgrade all this uh, track too. I thought we had upgraded all the uh, lines into Birmingham, but apparently not. Apparently we missed one. Oh, and that one as well. Okay, now we should be able to upgrade this. like to try. Uh, da, 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 there we go. You know what? Let's let's try that. Let's see what that'll look like. Oh, there we go. Right now, it just makes it look like a very, very, very dirty train. Hey, Boeing 757 there is unlocked. Let's try that out. Fifty-five people instead of twenty-one. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we're gonna have to be careful though and downgrade some things, but I think line thirty-three definitely needs it. Yep, 
Yes. Okay, now let's get rid of some of these vehicles on line 33. Um, yeah, go to be not here. And... Alright, you already upgraded. You as well, go away. Okay, where's line 33 go? Up to Waterbury. Let's try to upgrade Waterbury's airport as well. I did not expect that to work. All right, that's that's awesome. Now I can't delete this. Are you kidding me? All right, that's just a feature of this city now, I guess. There we go. Not what I meant to do, but uh, I guess it's just a feature of the city now. Oh man, the, these have not been upgraded in years. That's the station in Waterbury. One that needs upgraded. Oh, we can't. Wait, I guess we can't up... I forgot where our upgrade was. Alright, I guess we're not there yet. Okay, game. Try to ship more items. I mean, I'm trying. It's very hard to orchestrate this whole thing. Wait, 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 wait. Are you serious right now? It's taking the plastic to the city? Why is it doing that? Why? Why are you taking plastic to here? It's then gonna probably take it back over to here, but why? Take it back to here? So there's plastic at this place? Are you kidding me? So there's that much more tools? Wow. That's not even cool. That really upsets me. How do you even undo that? Why aren't you doing stuff? say to that. I mean, we're shipping enough, aren't we? Hmm. 
Not really, but okay. Hmm. Maybe we just need to increase the frequency. I don't know. That's very annoying. Apparently, don't even want our business at all. All right, let's try increasing the frequency of deliveries and see if that helps. That's what it recommends. There we go. <clears throat> okay, hopefully this will work out. If not, I don't know what else to do. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's smooth this over. Okay. Get rid of 
that. No. It was that, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. Hopefully that'll fix it. <clears throat> Danny, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Hopefully that will work. Because like I said, if not, I don't even know what to do. Look, they're transporting one. Hey, it's going up to 16. That's that's better. Was that really the only issue? Was it just wasn't frequently frequenting enough? We got it. We've got goods. Look at all the trains just right in this little area. It's kind of insane. <clears throat> Birmingham has four goods. Birmingham has goods now. We finally did it. We finally did it. Whew. That was ridiculous. That is a huge plane. With 55 people on it. Let's, uh... Let's see how much this makes. Here we go. Feel like I'm on Wheel of Fortune and need to save big money. 2.35 million with just that one, one trip. That's awesome. Okay, looks like they just delivered goods. Still only four. That's okay though, because we have goods waiting here now. One thing we can do, I just realized one thing we can do. Uh, da, 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 where is it? There's a thing that you can do to make it not only take one thing. I thought. Thing. That might not be a thing. There has to be a way to tell it to not only take one thing. Surely there has to be a way. Alright, what if... <coughs> so that train's not even available anymore. What if... Here we go. That's what we wanted. Goods. There we go.
Okay, that'll make it to where it's only taking goods, which will make it to where this is only taking plastic, which will upgrade everything. Yeah, can you imagine if an airline actually made that kind of money per plane? It'd be amazing. <clears throat> of course, not including the crazy upkeep cost. Which, uh, da da da. Let's see. Yeah, it's still making quite a bit of money. Okay, so that'll force it to be a good strain once it upgrades. I think. We're gonna find out. I've never done that before, so I don't know for sure. <laughs> Look how old that train looks. Man. It's gonna upgrade here. There we go, yeah, it can only carry goods now. Problem solved. I'm wondering what will happen to these goods now. Or these plastic. I'm guessing they'll eventually go away? Or are we just gonna have plas two plastic here forever? That closed off that uh, route. I mean, there's still a road that goes to there, I guess. If they wanted to get real creative, they could do that, but. And a road that goes into Clearwater. Hmm. That's a dangerous road. Look at all that steel. <clears throat> That's crazy. That should fix it, though. Hey, one of the plastics went away. Maybe the other plastic will go away eventually. I'm hoping. That is so cool. Yeah, both of them going over this one. And then this one going under, while well, that one goes over. That's just a cool interchange. Okay, try to ship more. Yeah, yeah, we might want to. Jeez. Alright. <clears throat> gonna work now um, because that's not available anymore all right here's what we're going to do we're going to is this all electrified no okay here's what we're gonna do we're going to electrify this whole thing because right now that's our best bet do something really silly, which is put the M track on this one. See what I tell you, now they're taking goods back the other way, but that's fine, that's not plastic, so <clears throat> that's okay. Alright. Uh, not the train, we want the whole line.
There we go. Now, let's go to here and buy another one. Oh, because there's not electric here. Okay, there we go. Now set line all 48. Oh, that is smooth. Moving like butter. solved <clears throat> okay hopefully still a lot of food there yeah we're trying to get it out it's a lengthy process apparently Still a ridiculous amount of food there. Oh my gosh. That's really how fast it is? Jeez. We're catching up now, though. We're catching up now, though. Alright. Good. I'm so glad it gives you a warning about that. Okay, yeah, I think it's finally time to put another line on to here. Let's first of all upgrade it all. There we go. Now put on that second line. Loving it. That's not even high speed rail there. Wow. Need to upgrade that too. There we go. We have to redo this bridge too. It's not a high speed bridge. Not that it really matters apparently. Alright, we wanted to build off of here, so let's do that.
Cool. Let's put up the signals and get that second train going. I guess we'll do what this does and oh, but that one's going all the way through. Yeah, we're gonna need a another little stop there. And then right here. See what we can do here. Okay, then. Got a cool little thing going on there. And then just to keep it visually the same. Cool. That looks good. Okay. Now, where'd that train go? There we go. What line is this? I think it should be early on, right? No, it's all the way down on 24, I forgot. There we go. I really like how that looks. There we go, that should be able to transport all that food on further along. Birmingham keeps expanding into this hill, so the name is moving a little bit further this way, it looks like. 4,000 shopping facilities there. That's really good. That is really good. Almost 4,000 people. Nice skyscraper. I like that. All right. Let's see. Still not that great of production. Every year, just ridiculous amounts. Let's see, where was our, where's construction? So we spent 92 million on new vehicles and still made 225 million. Oh, that's crazy. 292 million that year.
And we spent money on new vehicles still. Wow. Our actual income is like 600 million right now. That's insane. Wow. But yeah, only up to 64 there, that seems low. Okay, possible upgrade there. What about here? Okay, so that's been upgraded. It has since gone down. <clears throat> Why can I never remember? This is over here. 68 out of 400. 100. I wonder... If we expand that, <clears throat> will that force it to grow as well? I don't know. I don't think so. We're going to let it breathe a little bit and see where it takes us. All the goods are going to... Only at 2% goods right now. Because all the goods are going away. What's Clearwater's goods at? Zero. <clears throat> so maybe not all the goods, but there are goods waiting there. Let's see, are there 40 or more goods here? 22. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I do like them being able to trade with each other. I do actually like that. I think it's helping grow. I think the game knows what it's doing. And it's helping grow them. <clears throat> Especially with excess stuff, because like, there's more... I don't know. As long as it goes to Birmingham first, I'm okay with whatever happens outside of that. I guess technically you could build a city with every single resource going to one city. And then having that everything go out from that city, that would be an interesting interesting design. I can't imagine trying to cram all that into one city though. We've had a hard enough time with one, two, three stations. can't imagine trying to do even more. Okay. Whoa, we need to add... Yeah, we need to add another one. <clears throat> uh, first... And that's what's annoying, is you have to upgrade everything. all the way in. Okay.
now we're going to get the exact same one replacing. <clears throat> and thankfully it realizes if you already have a new train and doesn't charge you the whole amount. Okay, that should really help things out there. Let's make sure this does get a clear path at some point. There we go. to wait again. But yeah, that's such a long route that I think it's necessary. Okay. wonder if we can build... Let's see if we can build further out. One up in. trying it. I don't like how it stops curving there. I guess. We are taking down the mountain. A lover's lane kind of thing. That's cool. I can't even imagine having a house up here. That would be awesome. Overlooking the whole city like that. Looks like Birmingham's name moved back for some reason. I don't know why. All right. Almost to 4,100 there. Yeah, 
46 is the one that is constantly having trucks just waiting like that. Interesting. I wonder if it would be better to have a stop here and a stop there. Something to think about for next time, I guess. Whoa. They're like, we want to see you that way. <clears throat> There's still a long, long way to go before they get to anywhere close to the top of the mountain. Because, yeah, we crossed over a major line there. There's still one, two, three, four more major lines to go. We've only done two. Yeah, that's going to be probably impossible to build all the way up there. I don't know. We'll see. I think it could be done. Pretty much good traffic everywhere. Nice. Ooh. I wouldn't say that's bad, that's just buses stopped. See, it's just that because of the, how dense the bus stops are here. Because this is... <clears throat> this is where all the buses go, now that I remember. Yeah, this is the stop between the uh, circle line that goes through there and the line that goes on up here. Yeah, this is awesome. I can't wait to see Birmingham continue to grow and do things like that. That's cool. We now have all the industry that we could ever want. Although we could use more goods usage. But hopefully with time that'll happen. Right now all the goods are just going to clear water. Wow, 4,000 jobs there. All right, let's look at the uh, list. So Birmingham's biggest in population, obviously. Birmingham's biggest in or, uh, shopping facilities, but Clearwater is not far behind. And Clearwater is number one in jobs, with Birmingham not far behind. But yeah, population wise, Birmingham is just crushing it. Over a thousand more. That is cool. <clears throat> Alright, well, I think that is as good a place as any to end this episode off. I do plan to... Not telling you how to play, but you may need to check some of your bus lines for aging vehicles. Yeah, yeah, once we get... Hey, new vehicle. Only 113. Um, that one is just so much better at life and everything. Like, it is more expensive, but.
Interesting. Alright, anyway, um, once we get to where there's no more vehicles being unlocked, I'm going to go through everything. <clears throat> and I mean the whole list of all the vehicles, and make sure that they're all on auto-renew on the most efficient thing possible. Also, I'm going to try to expand to every city. <clears throat> I might not put a bus line in every city. I'm going to at least try to get a railroad to every single city. So expect that to happen too. They are major fighting for that position there. All right. <clears throat> So we will be doing that in the future. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. And I'll see you again real soon for more Transport Fever as we make our way through more stuff. And be on the lookout in the coming weeks for more Mordor videos coming out more often. I'm really excited about that freelance video editor thing. So really looking forward to that. So yeah, that's pretty much everything tonight. Uh, I will be trying to stream if I don't die this week, <laughs> again next week, uh, at the normal time of uh, just around 8 to 9 Eastern is the start time usually. So every uh, Thursday. And then Mordor currently is coming out on Saturdays and Tuesdays, so be on the lookout for more of that. And I'll see you guys again real soon for more Transport Fever. Take care, everybody. Have a great night. been signed out oh man so we're still streaming that's embarrassing all right let's refresh here all right for real this time have a great night everybody and i'll see you again real soon take care everybody